and screaming If all we have is time then we'll be alright What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to have for you guys a long awaited video. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking for class setups. Um, ever since the start of this video, I'm going to read every single gun. You guys have been asking pretty much every single video. There's been a lot of you guys asking what attack you're using, what's a class setup, and everything. I'm pretty much planning um, to do a class setup video after I finish every single um, weapon category. So now I'm done with the assault rifles, so now I'm going to make a video on class setup with the assault rifles. When I'm done with the submachine guns, I'm gonna make one with the submachine guns and just keep going until I'm done pretty much. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I picked three weapons for you. I'm gonna go through the class setup. I'm gonna break it down for you guys. Let's get right into it. So today I want to show you guys two different classes. I'm gonna explain a little bit and stuff like that. So one of the classes I want to show you guys is the M1 Garand. And why I'm showing the M1 Garand, I got a lot of you guys are probably not even using this weapon. But there is a reason we have two types of assault rifles. We have semi autos and we have fully automatic assault rifles. So I'm gonna show one with the M1 Garand because it's semi auto. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm basically using the same setup for all the semi auto assault rifles. So let's just get into it. I'm using the infantry division. Obviously, it's made for assault rifles. That pretty much simple. I'm using Red Dot, Rapid Fire, and Extended Max. And I'm always using Red Dot pretty much in the Soul Rain. But there's few weapons in the game that I where don't have to use Red Dot because the iron side is actually somewhat decent. But I feel like the M1, I'd rather have a Red Dot on because I just, I'm just i way more comfortable with a Red Dot. I feel like I kill way faster on rains and stuff. I think it's only the Volt that I'm not really using Red Dot on. Other than that, I'm using Red Dot on all my other. Assault rifle. So, next attachment is rapid fire. Um, always use rapid fire and semi auto weapons because you can shoot so much faster. If you have a decent trigger finger, you can actually shoot super fast and it, you'll just kill the enemy faster. And then the last attachment, extended max. I would say extended max is one of the most important attachments in pumps when you play Call of Duty because there's so many people, especially in pumps, who's like 66. A lot of people running together, and if you run into like a lot of people. You have a higher chance of killing those people with the max army because you have more bullets, or then you're just gonna run out of bullets too quick. So, in those situations with a lot of people, you'll be able to kill more. You like you're not gonna run out of ammo as fast. So that's why extended max is always good. You can get more kills without reloading and stuff like that. And um, this is. I, I will say in 10 situations, you don't have to reload in the middle, there's like 3 people coming around the corner, you would actually be able to kill all of them without having to reload or anything, so. I'm using forwards in this class, and I want to tell you guys, there's forwards and there's workout, that's the main two divisions I'm using. Forwards, obviously is working at scavenger, do, and you can pick up pretty much ammunition from the ground, and then you're not going to run out of ammo or anything, you're not forced to pick up a weapon from the ground. And then there's another basic training reason, we'll get into that in a second, but yeah, the secondary, you can use basically whatever you want on that, like, it's basically whatever you feel comfortable with, um, I'd rather use this one over, like, the semi-auto one, so, this is the machine pistol, if I worry it, as well, and the tool doesn't really matter, you can use trip mine, you can use whatever you want, just whatever you feel like. So, yeah, that's the first class setup. The second one I have for you guys today is Wet the Volk, as I just said before. And it's pretty much the same setup, uh, just a little bit different. I'm using Quick Draw the Volk as a set. I can actually use the Iron Sight with the Volk, and I, I'm actually comfortable with the Iron Sight, so I don't have to use the Red Dot. And that gives me like an extra attack range. And I'm using Quick Draw because that's. You don't really need Quick Draw in parts, but in some situations, some gunfight, it actually helps you a lot. And obviously, I'm using Quick in this one, full automatic. So there's obviously more recoil in the semi auto. So it's just. Let's recall the grip so you can easily kill people in range, and that's just why I'm using quick now. And then, of course, we have extended max. Always use extended max on your weapons, whether it's a light machine gun, assault rifle, um, sub machine gun. I'm always using the extended max, and you should too. And now we come to the other basic training workout. So, the only bad thing about workout is that you can actually run out of ammo with your gun, obviously, unless there's someone on the other team using the exact same gun. But, workout, it's so good. Um, on pretty much all the maps, if you play a map like Flat Tower, it's such a small map, and you have look at all, you can literally see the entire map, which is so good if you have UAV. Personally, myself, I'm not really using the lethal streaks, I'm only using UAV, and I'm only using counter UAV. So, um, you get UAVs way faster, obviously, and you have UAVs up. 
pretty much the entire game. So when you have look it down, you can like see the entire map. You will know where the enemies are at. It will be so much easier to like get map awareness, like know where the enemies are at because you can like see where they're at to make like, longer range if you know what I mean. Like when you just use the default views for it, you have like a really small mini map and you can just see the enemies are somewhere like in front of you, right? But if you have look it out, you can actually see way more of the map and you can see where they're at. If you like heck if you're pushing, if you're moving or anything. And that's why I look at it so good. And one more thing that you can actually see their names like across the map, which is why I look at it so overpowered and it's so insane. And I kind of hope they're gonna nerf it at some point. So if you want to be too rocket, I would definitely recommend using a workout. And you can always pick up weapons from the ground because there's always someone using like a PPSH, always someone using a good assault rifle you can pick up from the ground. So that should not be a problem. So that's pretty much the video for today. Two class setups. Um, um, there's not much, but it's pretty much the same. I'm using for every single weapon. This could be another one, and uh, the flyboard is the only difference um, from the other class setup is that I'm using red dot instead of quick draw. And this basically, if you're comfortable with the iron sight, use quick draw. But if you're like a person like me that just rather have a red dot on because it's just feels so much better for me personally, and then use a red dot. And then these class setups are really good. And that's the one time I'm using all the times my assault rifle. And uh, this is basically the same class I'm using for my SCG, same class I'm using for my FC42. So it's not. This is basically all the class I've been using throughout this whole um, series so far. And um, with me to rock here with every single gun. So guys, we really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below if you want more class of videos. There's any weapons that you want to class it up on. Uh, but then thank you so much for watching. Speak to you later.